and you know obviously the t- tv and, and entertainment gave you what you you know gave you your fans gave you your you know a lot of uh, a lot of you know what you the success you found so um i i wanted to ask you through the interviews that i've seen and, and the references i it doesn't seem to me matt that you miss the celebrity side of things uh, but i didn't want to state the obvious i didn't want to assume and put words into your mouth and say oh you know you're completely you're completely uninterested in that side of things anymore do you miss any part of the the celebrity lifestyle that came with that early part of your career you know and uh, you know and your massive hair but 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 certainly the celebrity lifestyle do, do you miss any part of that or did you just not come into your awareness at all these days uh Back in the day, I absolutely loved it. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I've always said that it was fun. It was absolutely, you know, I loved every single bit and minute of it. But then now, as I get older, I, I don't, you know, I get if, if anything, when I don't get me wrong, when people recognize me in the street, it's really nice and stuff. But I just try and avoid, I try and avoid, I try and avoid this weird because my, my missus said, You're the most flamboyant, uh, it. it Introvert. introvert. You're the most flamboyant introvert I've ever met. Because, I mean, that was, again, when I was drinking, I was this, you know, I used to mm. wear all kinds. I mean, that's, I'd still, if I, even if I'm not drinking, I'd still wear quite flamboyant clothes and stuff. But, you know, I'd be this, the life and soul of all the party, but then inside, really, I'm just this introverted person who just like to stay away from all of it. So I used to like it. I'm not a massive fan of it anymore. Although I do appreciate it when people, you know, big, you know, when people are fans of what you do and stuff. You know, that's that's, that's great. And yeah. I always give everyone the time of day, and I did back in the day as well. And um, yeah, but yeah, I'm more if uh, to answer your question, I'm more happier on my own in, in the field in the middle of nowhere with my dog. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's just the peaceful life, and that's and, you know, I that, that's why I go to the gym early in the morning because there's nobody in there. I yeah, just try and just if anything, I try and hide from <laughs> I try and hide from yeah, yeah. crowds. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I, and I understand that as well. Again, you, you could sort of see, you know, when you do speak, you're very reflective about that time, but um, and I, from, from that question, Matt, something. I thought about asking you was about your definition of success and how that's changed because you've experienced television success, movie success, traveling around the world, but you're also now a very successful t- you know, TV chef and you have your books and it's very different styles of success, I imagine, you know? So how is your definition of success as a person and as a performer? Because I would label you as a performer. Um, how has that changed and developed over time? Would you say? Uh success. I don't know what is what is success. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, I don't I just do stuff that I enjoy doing. And I think when you do something you enjoy doing, success comes with it, I guess. Mm-hmm. But it's you know, I just ten years ago if somebody said I was gonna be a TV chef, they would have laughed. You know, I would have laughed in the face. They you know, they would have laughed as well. Mm-hmm. But it's um I bought you can all you 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 can do whatever you want. You've just gotta put you just you know, I mean you know, I <laughs> I was a, a skateboarder, professional skateboarder, and then then I did the Sanchez thing, then the Sanchez thing finished, then I opened a business, uh tattoo and barbershop business, uh and then I did the dirty vegan thing. I did uh, uh, endurance events and all that kind of stuff. And then now I'm about to go into another uh, industry, which is the supplement industry. Mm, yeah. Uh, I know the dirty vegan thing isn't dead yet. Now you know that's the, the the new book, as you can see behind me. That's that's launching December the seventh. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, to some people that might that's success, or I don't I don't know. It's it, it ain't, you know, it ain't, it ain't easy. It's, it's, you know, it's, again, it's, you know, everyone thinks I'm a multi-millionaire, <laughs> but, you know, it, the reality is that I'm not. Yes, I have been there, but I spent it all and had <laughs> a good time. But that was, an, that was another life lesson. It's just, I don't know, success is weird. Some people look at success different. Some people look at success because you've got a Lamborghini. 
Yeah. Uh, but to, you know, or a massive house. But you know, that's they're the kind of thing I still I still live to have a Lamborghini, don't get me wrong. And they're the kind of things I used to look to have when I was younger. But now that I'm older, success to me is as long as I can pay my bills mm. and I can spend time with my fiance and my dog doing nice things, which doesn't have to, doesn't necessarily cost money, that's success to me.